Moore carrying out what he calls his Good in the Hood project, barbecuing to bring people together at family-friendly events. And he's been recognized by the Aspen Institute for weaving Baltimore's social fabric. Sure. Explain how your food and love honor people and build social trust across economic and racial lines. Um, this is for my religious people and people that believe in godly things. When Jesus made the multitude, I was there. I told him to cut the fish and fry it. That's why you got fish on Friday. If it worked 4,000 years ago, why can't it work now? So explain how your grilling brings people together. Just like that, we feed your food. At 5 o'clock, me and you came from an era where at 5 o'clock we ate dinner. Well, now they, we can't, everybody can't eat dinner at 5 o'clock, so we bring dinner to wherever you are. I got a grill, and we feed you uh, ribs, chicken, turkey, ham, beef, we feed you sweet potatoes, collard greens, candy yams. We give you the good in the hood. We give you a home-cooked meal. We are standing right next to your grill in Hamilton, the neighborhood of choice today. What's your favorite neighborhood? Man, I don't have a favorite. I've got Baltimore as my favorite. That's why they made me the Weaver Award for the whole city. Because I do it all over the city. Well, I know you've been at this for, what, 30 plus years. Uh, when did you decide that grilling was better than selling dope? When I came to Baltimore, I came here straight out the Illinois Department of Corrections in 1991. And selling drugs don't give you a 401k. It don't give you a promise tomorrow. I decided to work for myself. I started selling uh, hot dogs, hamburgers, steak, and chicken. I changed my product. I didn't change my hustle. So who pays for what you grill and give? I earn it. I go out and work. I do odd jobs. People contribute. Like I said, it's the Jesus trick. How did Jesus pay the most food? You feel me? The community. special because like I said uh, I've been homeless for the last 10 years I've been still doing what I've been doing for the last 10 years I got the Aspen Institute Award I got the Community Verizon Award from Verizon Institute I got uh, the Malcolm X Award from Hassan Giordano I got a lot of awards so good work is rewarded well congratulations on that aspect I have to point out I can't help but point out that a few months ago you interrupted a press conference by Mayor Brandon Scott, and you have become somewhat famous by that. Uh, you seem to be on somewhat of a first-name basis with Mayor Brandon Scott. I'm on the first-name basis with everybody in Baltimore. <laughs> Ask Jay Miller. <laughs> everybody calls me Shorty because that's who I am. Where'd you get that name? You really want to know? Yeah. I got it from a bully. Kept calling me Short this, Short that. One day I just beat him up and I just picked the name put respect on it now. Another conquer. Yes, sir. Well, you are one of the 10 people who received the first ever Weaver Award given by MIT Bank and the Aspen Institute. Congratulations, Dwayne Shorty Davis. And thanks for joining us on WBAL News Radio 1090 and FM 101.5. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. It's the good news. Did we cover everything? Enough? Mm-hmm.